right, that's right. Master League TV, Uncle Andy B, better known as the O&E. And today's video will be about Devin Haney versus Regis Prograis at the uh, Steroff. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Master League TV out the NEB. Better known as the O-N-E, the Combat Awareness Channel. How y'all doing today? Today is the uh, 28th of November, and we got that uh, Devin Haney fight coming up, right? Devin Haney and Regis Progray, and they had the face-off the other day. And um, it was juicy, man. It was, uh, the coach couldn't be there. Devin's dad couldn't be there. And, uh... But they were there on the side because the camera would show them every now and then. And uh, Devin was just, you know, like, hey, I'm here. I didn't need no tune-up, pretty much, so to speak. I jumped and went right after the uh, shark, you know what I'm saying, the big fish. He said he 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 wanted to jump right in there and get at the big fish. Uh, read this program. He said that, um, he said that, uh, Josh, Josh Taylor knocked you out. Your last opponent put you on your ass. And what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> That's what Devin always be like. He'd be like, what are, you, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Uh, uh, Regis was like, I'm going to hurt you. I'm just going to hurt you. Hey, hey. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you, man. And definitely, you ain't hurting shit. <laughs> you ain't hurting shit. So, it was pretty juicy to me. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I think that uh, this is going to be a good one. I mean, boxing has just been going on. I haven't even been watching no more UFC. Ever since Francis left and, you know, John Jones kind of on the, you know, back burner for right now. All these other guys, uh, I ain't really, you know. Uh, you know, I, if, 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 if I don't see nothing, like, just that grabs me right away, if I see a, you know, like a, a commercial or something on them or some, or, or, or see a, a past previous fight clip or something that a show might be showing or something, if I don't see nothing within that split eye, just that eyeball, you know, peripheral, you, you know, I don't really be on, you know, except for people like John Jones. Every since I've seen him, he always gave me that. You know where I, my peripheral vision are just, just, just a scan you, just a scan you. You know I don't know. I don't judge a book by its cover. You know what I mean? Because you can't doubt anybody, and you always must respect your opponent. But uh, as far as looking at and watching the fighters, uh, you know, uh, John Jones is somebody that uh, caught my eye. Uh, the George St. Pierre guy caught my eye. Back in the early days, uh, Iceman, uh, what was the Ice, the Iceman, get him and, uh, Ortiz would go at it all the time, you know, and that really made me watch, uh, the, uh, Hughes, they were, yeah, Hughes, even, uh, the big, the guy who, uh, was real tall and everything, looked like, uh, he could play, uh, Superman or something, um, in their, uh, it ain't Brock Lesnar, but it's, uh, uh, I forget the guy's name, Stock, Stockholm, or Rockful, Rockful, Rockful was alright, he was alright, kind of sat too tall next to straight up time, but he was alright fighter, and Michael Bisping, because he talks that good game, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, shout out, man. you know you can't forget about Connor now, Connor's gone, so, you know, hey, I've been on the boxing tip. I just been on the boxing tip. Shout out Izzy. Shout out Para. Y'all was cool, but for some reason that just they didn't. I mean, Izzy be doing a lot though. He be doing a lot. So hey, shout out Izzy. Way to go, champ. But uh, you know, man.
from back yeah and um like i said uh i'm not gonna say who won the press conference but it was a good conference they were going back and forth with the points <clears throat> i think we just looked very confident though the way he was just you know had the little shorts on and like he was just relaxed and everything you know Devin is always intense and ready to go and just ready to just whatever dude you know what I mean? So, shout out, champ. I want to see y'all get it in. Uh, December the 9th.